Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer and Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. I'm here at CTIA in Vegas and uh, I have my Flip Minnow HD camera that I'm recording this with, so pardon the uh, the camera quality. Not, I don't have my best camera because I had to uh, figure out and limit what I was going to pack. But what I wanted to show you was just launched, uh, kicked off late tonight. It's now early in the morning on April 1st. Uh, this is not an April Fool's joke. You can now download the BlackBerry App World. So I've got lots of screenshots uh, and some write-up, but here I just wanted to kind of walk you through it on the, um, the Curve 8900, as you can see here. So let's take a look at BlackBerry App World. Sorry about the zoom again, so let's just kind of show you some of the performance, even though the zoom, let's see if I go out a little bit, might not be that great. So as you can see, it starts off, and it actually um, allows you to quickly scroll through featured items. Um, right now it has, uh, as you can see, it lists and shows 15 featured items. Most of them are free, there's some paid apps, and uh, it just scrolls back and forth with the, with the uh, trackball. Uh, I did let download Shazam just a minute ago, and I did have Facebook. Uh, you might have saw that a second ago. I had had Facebook already on there. Uh, when you download it, it will download it, and then it will ask you, do you want to keep it or not? So down at the bottom, so you can go through those 15 featured items. Then down here at the bottom, we've got uh, categories, top downloads, search, and my world. So let's just run through some of these. So categories, press that in and you can see there's a number of different categories and besides each category it lists how many apps are in there and I totaled that up uh, I believe I wrote down there was 381 with something like 113 are free so if you select something like games you'll see there's also subcategories okay and then uh, let's just jump into them and I'll show you something here now one thing that I don't like about it so far is it's just kind of randomly ordered. It's not by alphabetical, it's not by the rating, um, it's not by price, and I don't see a way to, uh, unless, let me see, there's not many rated, so maybe it is by rating. I need to find, uh, let's see, the social one usually should have a lot of downloads. So, let's see, four, four, no, because then down below there's four star and three above it. So I don't know what the what the order of uh, these applications are. Um, it doesn't look like there's any order right now. And there's no way, if you press that, there's no way to filter uh, to rating or uh, date or price, which is too bad. So if we selected an app, say like Facebook, actually I already downloaded that one. Let me just say, uh, let's go back. So you can browse through those. Let's just uh, let's just pick a paid one here. If we go to Brain Challenge 2, select that one. Some paid applications go right to a purchase. You can also see there's reviews, it recommended. If you want to recommend it, then it will ask you how do you want to recommend it. Oh, I actually push the screen side. Recommended, you can say email, pin, SMS, text. Screenshots, you can select that and browse through some screenshots of the application. Um, reviews, you see what people, there's no reviews for that one. Let's just go to another one here. Slacker, is there any reviews on this one? Uh, it must be because it's got some stars. So if you go to reviews, you can see some of the reviews. It's nice to look at. Now on some of the paid applications, uh, it'll actually say trial or purchase. These ones uh, that I'm trying here, I'll happen to say purchase. Uh, let me just take you to, real quickly, I'll show you the most expensive application I found. I believe it is in the productivity and utilities, on the go productivity, I believe. Let's see. Ah, no, uh, let's see, was that it? Yes. One hundred ninety-nine ninety-nine. I believe that was the most expensive one. Pepid Emergency Physician Suite. Or was there a... Let's see. Professional and business had some uh, rather expensive ones as well, I thought. Yes, yeah, so it looks like that one ninety nine ninety nine was the most expensive. I wrote them down which ones were expensive. So if we go to top downloads, you select that, and it'll have the top downloads. Shazam is the number one, Bloomberg, and these so far are all free. 
I don't see any paid apps in the top. Uh, there's one. Phony fart, of course. There has to be a fart app, right? This one actually does say you can download a trial. So if you select that, it'll actually start to download the trial. And then this was the My World that shows you the applications you've purchased or downloaded, and then it goes through download status as well. Um, if you do select purchase, okay, let me go back to another one. That's a paid app. I'll just, oh, I'll get you to that stage. So if I wanted to purchase like the AP News, I, I select it, I say purchase, then I would enter in uh, PayPal info. So if I entered in my PayPal info here, just a second while I enter in my So after I log in, it's authenticating, determining the details. So after you, it pops up your PayPal, you must have PayPal. It'll actually give you uh, your amount, tax, total, uh, how it's going to be paid for, PayPal balance by funding, say buy now or cancel. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. I don't want to buy it right now. So that's uh, how you buy those. Whoops. And that was the featured items. Top download, search, you can just type a search term, and then my world, you see the ones you've downloaded. So that's first look at the BlackBerry app world that should be available on all devices, I believe, with a trackball and I, um, OS, I can't remember, I, 4.2, I think, 4.6 maybe. 4.2, I think. It's uh, it'll be in my article as well. So that's a look at BlackBerry App World on the BlackBerry Curve 8900.